personnel since Gary Van Egmon left in January. Our referees today, the central official is Beth Rattray. She's assisted by an A-League Women's Debutant 2023 New South Wales Assistant Referee of the Year, Alexis Johnson. Maggie Price is on the other touchline and the fourth official today is Molly Godsell. Well, the Raw haven't quite had the bounce that the Brisbane hierarchy were hoping for when they hired Alex Smith to replace Gareth McPherson in November, only adding two wins in the 12 games since. However, he has consistently said that he's proud of the way his side is attempting to play football as we approach the business end of the season. Without even a point, the focus may well shift to preparing for 2024-25. The two sides preparing to get us underway. It's the Newcastle Jets, the home side, in their gold kit. And the youngster Emma Dundas standing over it, just fresh from that junior Matildas camp. We are underway in Maitland. The home side going from left to right on your screen. Brisbane Raw on the ball now, going from right to left. Newcastle will look to pile on. The early pressure in this game and probably go into it slight favourites. They do sit above Brisbane on the ladder. They're capable of scoring goals, but Brisbane, they've been unlucky this season, using a lot of games by the odd goal. Things just not quite going their way. We hope that that luck can turn around this afternoon. Norrie. Up the line, nice little one-two. Yallop trying to play it into the path of a teammate. Can't do so. Bolden, how good she been this season. The Philippines International eight goals in 11 games. Chico now into the path of Lauren Allen. Allen will cut it back. But deflected away. And we'll have our first corner of the afternoon. Well, Brisbane have been shaky offset pieces so far. Nine conceded from corners. Newcastle will be hoping it's ten delivered in. Headed away though by a Brisbane head that time. The Jets will be able to recycle possession, although it's cut out in midfield by Norrie. And the foul again going the Raw's way. Of course, Norrie missing last week due to an accumulation of yellow cards, five in total. Of course, the Raw got in trouble last season after they failed to pick up a suspension after Nori picked up the amount of yellow cards to keep her out of a fixture. She played that game and lost as a result. This time around, dotting their I's, crossing their T's. Ball up the line from Yallop. Brisbane squaring the ball, but all picked up by Izzy Nino. The Jets custodian between the sticks. Corbin applying the pressure for the Raw. The American eight goals and 16 so far this season. It's been a really effective presence up front. And now a little bit of trouble up the back. Nino, well, it deflected off Ash Brodigan. He was pressing nice and high. Her appearance last week was the first since December. And I'll tell you what, she was very close to adding to her one goal for the season. Nino just got herself into a spot of bother there. Couldn't clear her lines quick enough. Thankfully, from a Newcastle perspective, it deflected out of play instead of back in the direction of the goal. The Jets picking up the ball in midfield. Bauman, Swiss international. Able to play it out wide. Cass Davis. Back to Nino. And plays it safely this time to Pryor. And 
Nice hold up play by Boulder, although it's won back really well by Woods. And now Brisbane on the counter, Sean Fryer against Pryor. Sean Fryer cuts inside, can't quite get the shot away. She'll play it back instead. Tamiki Gallup, the Matilda, can't get away from Bolden. So Woods will play it all the way back in the raw. We'll have a chance to build up again. McQueen up against Allen. McQueen just can't get past Allen. And the Jets win the throw. Well, there's quite a fiery exchange on that side. Copas Brown, very unhappy with the way that McQueen pulled her down. But McQueen was fouled first in the opinion of the referee. So it was a Brisbane free kick. We'll take a look at that again in picture in picture. Well, McQueen gave her a bit of afters, but it was the original foul that does stand. Here come Brisbane again, that pace up front. Bauman able to cut out on that occasion. It's Rebecca Kirkup on that far side. Who's been tasked with getting up and down that right flank. Deborah Ann Della Harp not in the match day squad for the Raw today. And that'll change the way that they play by necessity. Kulmik, heavy touch, but manages to get it to McQueen. And look at that pressure from Claudia Chico. Not able to win the ball back, but certainly sending a warning to Brisbane if they dally on the ball too much. Newcastle will be there to collect the ball. And here again, that high press. And there were foul committed in the process on McCormick. Sophie Hoven that time just a bit over enthusiastic with her pressing well you can see why she saw for a second the opportunity to get in behind but does foul McCormick on the way through Norrie playing it to Corbin. Already. Well, that's five fouls now for Newcastle. They're not taking a backward step in Maitland. Bowman that time, the instigator. And Mia Corbin. Well, there's an argument to say that could be a yellow card as well because it was quite an uncontrolled challenge. But meanwhile, it's Newcastle who won the ball. Lauren Allen into the path of Serena Bolden who takes a touch and shoots wide. Well, Serena Bolden, she's been so lethal this season, but on that occasion has missed the target from point blank range. It was offside in any case, but we'll take a look at this again, Allen. Wonderful ball into the path of Bolden. And the fact that she's dragged that wide, it wouldn't have counted anyway, but just that confidence would have been great for her, a good feeling to put the ball in the back of the net. She wasn't able to do so. But that is an example, of course, of what Newcastle can bring. That rapid speed of Lauren Allen on the wing. And Serena Bolden always lurking in the goal scoring position. Who's been trying to play through? Kai Stevenson on the ball into Yallop. Switch of play up to Sean Fryer. Yallop still. A wonderful ball from Tamiki Yalup, just out of reach of Sean Fryer.
Well, those two have been combining beautifully of late. That was another example of that combination. Stevenson found herself in acres of space in midfield. Keeps going, Kaya Stevenson. Well, she was just allowed to keep going then. Wasn't being closed down at all from Newcastle's defence. Maybe a little bit of sleep after that throw in. Eventually was shut down. Wonderful turn from Hoban. But not able to get a pass in the path of a teammate. So it will trickle to the feet of Brisbane Roars keeper Jordan Silkowitz. Take a look at that possession stat, 64% to the Raw so far, 36% to Newcastle. Neither side able to really fashion a clear-cut chance as of yet. Despite that possession, they've looked very even because Newcastle can do this. Chico up the line to Allen. Lauren Allen cuts inside, still going. Lauren Allen into the middle, beat away by Norrie. Bolden, who she was probably expecting to be in the middle, had looked to make that overlapping run. Now, here come Brisbane, Ash Brodigan. Well, was being held by Libby Copas Brown. Referees say nothing in it, so play continues. Fire. Now, on that occasion, Brisbane will win the free kick. Take a look at this again. Lauren Allen picks up the ball in a good spot, but Bolden's just made the wrong run there, and it meant that. Allen didn't have a target to hit in the middle. She had to check her run a little bit. And by that time, Brisbane's defence were ready. So it's... Mickey Yallop, who was standing over the free kick. Each Norrie's come to lend a hand as well. And it will be Norrie who will deliver. Oh, a header just wide of the post. Not sure whether that came off a Brisbane head or a Newcastle head, but either way, it was tantalisingly close to the post. The referees ruled a corner. And on the replay, well, it was Claudia Chico who got there first and she'll be very thankful that the header ended up going wide wasn't able to steer it in the direction that she would have liked short corner nori brodigan takes a strike well held in the end by using nino and that was a corner routine from the training ground. And it almost paid off from Brodigan. Well, Hoban managed to win the ball, but not before giving away a foul. This foul count is really racking up already for Newcastle. That was another one for Hoban. Alex Smith just saying, where's the yellow card? Because, well, Newcastle... Have certainly come out in a forceful manner in this game. And there again, another foul. This time, Cass Davis, the captain, not able to get there on time. I 
Let's see the replay of this. Well, Jenna McCormick there is protesting for a yellow card because Cass Davis kicked the ball away. So she's saying that that should be a yellow card. And there we go. Eight fouls already committed by the Jets. Two for Brisbane. In the first 15 minutes of this game as a result of that high press. They're trying to force the turnovers. And that can be effective. They just need to make sure that they win the ball cleanly. And if this continues, they want to be careful that they don't pick up any yellow cards or anything of that nature that would make their life just a little bit more difficult. Early doors. Davis. Forced to play it all the way back. Prior. Impressed by Brodigan. Of course, a big game for Ash Brodigan. Played most of her career at Newcastle before moving to Brisbane this season. Wonderful work there from deep by Yallop. Yallop searching for options in the middle. Brodigan can't get there ahead of Davis. Although her clearances landed right back in the path of the raw. Ball delivered in. Pryor tried to head it away, but unfortunately, right behind her was Brodigan. May have copped the full force of that ball. And you can see on the replay, just here in a really uncomfortable spot there. The referee obliged to stop play whenever there's a hint of a head injury. So they're just checking up, but she seems to be okay. She's walking it off. This one's always very painful. Holden turns, plays it to Copus Brown, who switches play beautifully into the path of Hoban. Just a little bit beyond her, but she'll square it back into the middle. Bolden, Allen, and cleared away by Brisbane. Players weren't sure where the ball was for a moment, but thankfully, from a Brisbane perspective, it fell to the feet of a defender. Chico. Can't get there ahead of McQueen, who's appealing. And it should be a goal kick. And she gets her wish. Well, the Raw, they've had the majority of possession today, and that's the way that they're aiming to play under new coach Alex Smith last week after their defeat to Western United he was very positive about their style of football if not the result and you can see their 89% passing accuracy for the Raw today that will likely drop a little bit as the game goes on but that is the intent of the Raw to play with the ball in fact, in one of Alex Smith's first interviews when he was first appointed the job, the fourth official just required to get in there and calm things down. Molly Godsell just telling Warren Allen to back off a little bit. And Alex Smith, he actually invoked Ange Postacoglu, of course, a Brisbane Raw legend, an Australian football legend, now coaching at Spurs, saying that he wanted his Brisbane Raw team to play in that manner to play attacking, possession-based football, to excite fans. Of course, it wasn't his team. He came in after four games. Coach Gareth McPherson was the coach who took them through pre-season. But the process is beginning to bear fruit. And even if Brisbane can't make finals 
this season. They are six points away as it stands. You imagine if the hierarchy gives him more time, we'll see more of that style. Here they come. Brisbane Raw into the box, delivered just behind Mia Corbin. Kai Stevenson couldn't get there. So Newcastle were able to clear it away. It was good work from Stevenson to play it to Kirkup. Kirkup's cut back. Well, Corbin had already run beyond it. And Stevenson wasn't able to arrive in time on the edge of the area. Chico to Allen. We've seen that ball many times this game. Chico driving into the penalty area, goes to ground. The referee has said no foul. Well, the home fans here in Maitland are livid because they believe that their side should have had a penalty. It was incisive attacking play on that right-hand side again between Lauren Allen and Claudia Chico. But it will be play on. Nori. Up to Stevenson. Well, this picture in picture, well, you can make your own judgments at home as to whether you believe that the Jets should be currently lining up for a penalty kick. It certainly was contact, was it enough? According to referee Beth Rattray, there was not. Lauren Allen trying to apply the press, but good work from Silkowitz to play it out wide to McCormick. Hoban this time she's done really well to win the ball and again she thinks that she should have had the foul and she cannot believe that the free kick has been given against her she has been at fault for a few of the fouls so far in this game committed by Newcastle but it's a result of this press now she's won the ball there from Nori on replay it looks like she's won it fairly and then you can see why the referees given the foul against her. No malice in it, but she did catch Yallop late. And she's catching these fouls because of the intensity of that press. And well, her coach Ryan Campbell is not very happy about it. He's making his feelings known to the fourth official. Sarcastic applause from the crowd as the decision goes the Jets' way. Chico to Allen. Well, Brisbane almost playing themselves into danger. Dundas out wide. Hoban. Murray takes the ball away. Now a big hoof over the top. Corbin tried to get on the end of it, couldn't do so. Both Corbin and Pryor still down, so we'll have this stoppage in play. Hopefully that's nothing too serious. May have been a head clash as they both contested for that ball. Well, I'm not exactly sure who the contact was. The replay not decisive. So we will have our first drinks break of the game. It's a warm one in Maitland today, top of 33. 
Also looming thunderstorms, so plenty of humidity out here in Maitland. Of course, in the other game today, if you've just maybe switched over from that game, and spoiler alert here, currently nil all, but they've actually got a delay due to lightning. So whether those storms reach us here in Maitland remains to be seen. Well, the Newcastle unavailable list, including Melina Ayres and Jamie Simon at the moment. Melina Ayres out with a concussion. The third week unavailable. Of course, she was such a big name signing coming from Melbourne Victory. She's been so prolific for them. Scored in round one to get the Derby win over the Mariners. But this season, this has a lot of her career, unfortunately. It's been really hampered by injury. And now this concussion, a really difficult one for her. I do hope she is back soon. It's a good thing for the league, a fully fit and firing Melina Ayres. She's probably one of the deadliest strikers in the league when fit and in form. The Jets, they've had to deal without her for most of this season. And they've done all right, considering they have one Serena Bolden leading the line instead. It'll be Pryor who gets us back underway. She's recovered from that collision all right. Sirkowitz clearing it into midfield for Brisbane. McCormick. Now look to play out Brisbane. That is the Alex Smith way. They've been getting better and better at it every single week. Not able to successfully pierce the Jets line on that occasion, however. One-two between Dundas and Hovan. And was trying the fancy footwork. Back to Hovan. Ball delivered in. Hopeful. Chris Brown got ahead to it. And oh, that was a scuffed clearance from McCormick. That could have gone anywhere. Bolden's claiming. It was a back pass. Silkowitz is laughing it off. You can see from the look of McCormick's face, she was very concerned that it was going to find its way past Zuckowitz, but well, you can laugh about it when there's no harm done. Well, that is pretty close to a swing and a miss from McCormick. It was a swing and a scuff. And thankfully, from her perspective, ended up in the gloves of her goalkeeper. Long ball. Over the top, look at this pace up front from Brodigan. She's really making herself known right up in the face of Newcastle keeper Izzy Nino. Well, Brodigan, if she scores here, she could go from hero to villain. You know, the Castrians. Of course. She made 46 appearances for the Jets, scored five goals for them over the course of eight seasons. It's the Jets this time who have won the free kick. Brisbane players not getting out of the way quick enough to their liking. This game has some spice to it in this first half. It really does, and the crowd's really getting into it as well. It's great to hear a parochial crowd in this competition. Of course, Maitland is out in the regions, about a 45-minute drive away from Newcastle. Big weekend in Maitland. There's the show just five minutes down the road as well. There'll be plenty of people out and about. Anyone from this part of the world, you know, very parochial about their sporting teams. 
free kick delivered into the box. McCormick heads away. Kaya Stevenson will attempt to chase it down, but isn't able to do so. Just Brown tried some trickery, but opted for the simple back pass instead. Now, nice ball. Looking for Allen, but McQueen does well to get there. Prevent anything untoward happening. Bolden back to Chico. Intercepted well, though. From Brodigan. He's really been everywhere. And somehow the ball stayed in play. The free kick again. Given for the raw. And take a look at this. Maybe it was, in fact, a throw in. Yes, it was, in fact. My apologies. The Jets players weren't too happy about it, but you can see on the replay it was very clearly fully over the line. Corbin not able to escape the clutches of the Jets midfield. Davis delivering, looking for Bolden. Brisbane not quite able to clear their lines, but they do manage so in the end. And now Corbin in a foot race with Pryor. Pryor wins out. Although the clear is from Nino, far from convincing. I knew she just had to get it away from Corbin any way possible. Bolden. Warren Allen against McCormick. Well, early shot from Allen. You could see what she was trying to do, but didn't get the connection, wasn't able to wrap her foot around it in the way that she would have liked, and Sukowitz can claim. Nice turn from Woods. And her second start, Tish Woods. And Chico does really well to get there ahead of Brodigan and poke the ball back to her keeper. We've seen her do a lot in the attacking third today, Chico, but a reminder of what she can do in defence as well. And really young Salad. Wonderful ball. Played through to Hoban Nori, though. That is that experience and captain's awareness of Ish Nori to cut that one out. stoppage at the moment as the physio runs onto the field of play. And Serena Bolden is down injured. Again, hopefully that's nothing too serious. She really has lead up the competition since her arrival at the Jets. Difficult to believe she was a free agent at the beginning of the season. Of course, played in the season for the Wanderers. The physios come on the pitch, so she'll have to make her way off before she comes back on. Ryan Campbell again protesting. Believes that it should have been a foul against Brisbane on that occasion for that collision with Bolden. Well, McCormick. She did come in late there. I'm not sure on the physics of how she's managed to use her bold in there, but she just seemed to slide a little bit uncontrolled. I'm sure Jets fans will feel like their coach has a case. Sometimes in these moments when you feel like things are against you, you've got the home crowd behind you, sometimes it can, it can bolden you, to use an unintentional pun. But it can really make you get behind your teammates, get behind each other. 
can give you strength heading into those one-on-ones if you feel like things are just not going your way. Maybe Newcastle can harness that energy this afternoon. Chico, well won by McQueen. Brodigan holding up the ball well. Woods now playing it forward to Mia Corbin. Corbin up against Bauman, she'll square it and cleared away at the back post. It was an important clearance because goalkeeper Nino had missed it. A fantastic opportunity here for Brisbane. This ball from Corbin was perfect, but really well done at the back to ensure that it didn't reach a Brisbane striker. Still scoreless with 10 minutes of regulation time in the half to go, but it's been anything but uneventful. Plenty to talk about so far. It was potentially one of the better opportunities of the game. And it'll be Newcastle now. We will attempt to fashion one of their own. And the ball in from Allen harmlessly into the gloves of Sukowitz. Yallop gets past two and now has space to drive into. She'll play it forward instead to Ash Brodigan. But Cass Davis is there, as she so often is. And pulls the ball away from her former teammate. Well, Fryer has just shoved Chico off the ball unceremoniously. No card produced by the referee. She's been quite lenient in that department, at least, in this game. High interception from Kirkup. Heavy touch, not able to get there. And Fryer, well, a little bit of that frustration boiling over now from both sides. Well, Corbin has charged that one down, but looks like it came off the hand and did by the estimation of the referee. She's not protesting too much. I think she knew as well. Taken away, Dundas. Sophie Hoban. She's got Bolden in front of her. We'll play her in. Warren Allen's in the middle, but Bolden will play it back instead. Ball now to Allen, who shoots. Well blocked, though, by Woods. Calls from the crowd. For a handball by Holly McQueen. Again, not given. And Curtis Brown. the back 
that stick. Bowden. And it's the Jets who take the lead from the corner. The Raw's woes continue. And Bolden's celebrations continue. 1-0 Jets. We'll take a look at this corner again. Back post. Who else but Serena Bolden is there. She leaps the highest above the pack and slots it off the inside of the post into the back of the net. Ninth goal of the season for the Philippines International. She simply cannot stop scoring. And she's absolutely thrilled about it. Worrying for the Raw, that is the 10th goal conceded from a corner this season. That is far and away the most in the competition. And sometimes you feel like you're on top, you feel like you're playing well, you have the possession, but you can be undone from set pieces like that. And from the Raw's perspective, it means a one goal deficit for them today. Newcastle come again. Thunders. Copas Brown. Claudia Chico. Delivers a cross. Well controlled, but can't get a pass, McQueen. touch from Bauman. She is just able to reel it in, although plays it straight up Fryer. And in an attempt to prevent Fryer from getting away, the Jets have conceded a free kick and the yellow card has been produced as well. It's Cass Davis with the high boot who has conceded the first yellow card of the game. And, well, it's been coming. And Cass Davis, probably not the most involved in the game to have conceded that, but here's the free kick from Brisbane. Corbin rose high, but wasn't able to get a clear head on it. Warren Allen driving up the line into the path of Copas Brown. Up against Yallop. Curtis Brown goes to ground, appealing for the free kick. And instead, and she will indeed win the free kick just near the corner flag. So there you go, one of Curtis Brown's appeals have come off on this occasion and it'll be a chance to add to their tally from set pieces just before the break. Assistant referee Maggie Price just having a word to Kovas Brown.
Curtis Brown delivers towards the front post this time. Norrie is the one who was able to clear away. The Jets trying to keep possession. And Curtis Brown not able to do so. Apologising for kicking the ball away. Just out of frustration in that moment. As we approach the halftime break, it's the same old story for the Brisbane Roar. Last week, they conceded three goals, two from corners and one from a penalty. And today, they've conceded again from a corner. But can they equalise before halftime? Fryer, you know, ball in straight at Izzy Nino. And for all the good that Brisbane have been producing, they cannot keep conceding set pieces at the rate that they currently are. Three minutes of additional time, though, for them to walk away with something from this half. They'll be feeling like their play has merited it. And, of course, the Jets and these home fans, you will not want a bar of it. Chico just got there ahead of Fryer and played it up the line to Copas Brown. Now Davis. Davis's ball, a heavy touch from McCormick means that the Jets keep possession. Dundas. Hoban. Played out wide. Bauman. Cut out by Kirkup. Well, this has been an issue for the Raw today because Mia Corbin, she's so good at hold-up play and she'll come deep and try and collect the ball. But she hasn't really had support beyond her. Ash brodigan has been fantastic with the press. Kaya Stevenson, who has had a really good season, perhaps hasn't had the impact that she would have liked in this game so far and Tamiki Yallop has been good but probably not providing that attacking impetus that Brisbane need maybe that's a little tactical tweak that Alex Smith can make at half time to get Yallop more involved in the attacking phases of play Sean Fryer one last chance to deliver before the break. Fryer up against Davis. Beats Davis. Still going, Sean Fryer. Cuts it back. Cut out by Natasha Fryer. And now Bolden up against McQueen, looking for support. Finds it in Cocos Brown. She's got Warren Allen. And finds her now. Allen, has she got a target in the middle? Delivers towards the back post. Hoban was arriving, but not quite in time to make it two for the Jets. and it's a very happy home crowd because thanks to that woman on screen, Serena Bolton, her ninth goal of the season, her tenth in this competition, is the home side who lead Brisbane Roar's woes from set pieces continue their tenth corner conceded of the season. So half time, it's the Newcastle Jets one, Brisbane Roar nil. Let's take a look at how we ended up here. Of course, this opportunity early doors for Bolden. She was offside anyway, but skewed the shot wide. Would have hoped to hit the back of the net on that occasion. Now Chico went to ground. There were firm appeals from the crowd here for that to be a penalty. It wasn't awarded, but the goal did come from a corner. Serena Bolden, the Philippines international. The superstar of this league, Rose Highest, 
and placed it into the bottom corner of the net. So the stats, well, possession ended up even after Brisbane Raw dominated early dawns. Apart from that, very, very even game. It's been a game of few clear-cut chances. And the Raw will be hoping after the break they can add some of their own. Well, thanks very much for joining us for this first 45 minutes. There is still plenty of action to come after the break. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Maitland, where it's the home side, the Newcastle Jets, who are leading the Brisbane Raw one goal to nil, thanks to a goal from their Philippines international, Serena Bolden, her ninth of the season. Lovely day out in regional Maitland. Fans really enjoying the action this afternoon. Warm day. That hasn't stopped fans from flocking to the ground for the first ever Liberty A-League action in Maitland. Let's take a look at the goal. Serena Bolden rising highest from the corner. Libby Copas brown with a pinpoint delivery towards the back post and nothing that Jordan Silkowitz could do in goal. She celebrates loudly. Serena Bolden leaves nothing on the park. And she'll be hoping that that is enough to see her side over the line for the Raw though has been promising bits of play from them. And now we're hoping that they can take that into some clear-cut chances in the second half. Ash Brodigan has been as lively as anyone, the former Jets player. She's been pressing high. She's been searching for her opportunities. And we figure it might be her moment if the ball is to drop to her feet this afternoon. Lauren Allen, well, she's been busy as well. She's done plenty up the flank with Claudia Chico with the right-hand side. And Serena Bolton, she'll get the plaudits after scoring the goal that separates the two sides so far. There could be much more to come. And Brisbane, although, and shutting her down it will be key preventing more Newcastle goals in this second half. We're almost ready to get underway. It'll be the away side, the Raw, who will kick us off in this second half. They're ready to go. You wonder what coach Alex Smith said to them at halftime, if there will be any tactical tweaks at Newcastle. Well, hands in. They're ready to defend the lead, to look to score more, and Possibly, depending on other results, look to end the round equal on points with the top six. Hey, Corbin, American striker, will be the one to kick us off. We are back underway in Maitland in this clash between the Newcastle Jets and the Brisbane Roar. Well, it's an important fixture for both sides. The Jets, as it stood before the round started, were three points away from the top six. A win here could see them be back well and truly in that conversation, but Brisbane Certainly not out of it. They're six points away at the moment, but this league is so open. It's been so chaotic all year. So certainly anything is still possible. Of course, the full first full home and away season of this competition, 22 rounds. We're in round 17 at the moment. So there's still time for anything to happen. No result is guaranteed.
Davis playing it forward to Lauren Allen. Nice touch. Delivers into the box. Safe hands from Silkowitz. She's been quite good this season in her first professional season. Silkowitz. Good pressure again from the Jets. They'll be looking to keep that press up. In the second half. McCormick clears that time. High into the air. Woods in a battle in midfield and does get a touch on it. So it's Brisbane. Who are on the ball. Woods. Nori up to Rebecca Kirkup, who did manage to keep the ball in, but only played into the path of Bauman. Here come Brisbane again, Fryer. Couldn't find options ahead of her, so she'll play it back to Yallop. Nori, driving forward is Nori, still going, H Nori, but her pass to Kirkup had too much on it. So it'll be a Newcastle goal kick. Well, she seemed to just have a force field around her there, Nori. No one really wanted to make the tackle, but just couldn't get that final pass. And that is what she's capable of. Here's Yallop winning the ball high up the pitch. Tamiki Yallop unleashes. And Nino makes the save. Well, speaking of what Nori can do, Yallop in midfield can be so dangerous as well. She's been in fantastic form of late. And Redundus just not able to get the ball under control. And then Yallop saw space in front of her. Shot from the edge of the area. It was a little bit of a fumble from Nino, but not enough for it to go through the legs. Brisbane will be hoping that Caleb is much more involved in the second half because she has been in fantastic form. Six goal contributions in the last seven games. We'll be hoping for more of that this afternoon. Davis, Dundas, couldn't get it under control again, the youngster. And Emma Dundas just returned from Junior Matilda's preparation camp, she was held in Canberra over the week. She got home on Friday, so maybe still just feeling the effect of that a little bit. No doubt worked very hard by Junior Matilda's coach Ray Dower in the under 17 setup. Against McQueen. We play it back to Bolden, who shoots from the edge of the area. Just wide from Bolden. And now for a corner. Simply it's forced to get a touch on it. His pace again. And Lauren Allen. McQueen did well to hold her off, but then Bolden able to find space on the edge of the area. Silkowitz could not risk letting that go wide. She had to touch it around the post. Newcastle deliver again. Nori is there. And Brisbane clear their lines. Nice work again. Allen, Cass Davis, let it go. Was anticipating a player behind her, but Bolden was just a little bit in front. And 
Curtis Brown's through ball and far too much on it to really be a threat in behind. So Silkowitz will have the goal kick. Gallup. Woods. Fryer. Maya Stevenson ran beyond her, but she wasn't able to be found as an option. Nice touch from Corbin. Lovely turn. And Brodigan goes to ground, and wins the free kick in a dangerous area for Brisbane. This was nice little interplay here from the Roar and Brodigan. Well, it was almost fouled the first time and then eventually went to ground when Dundas got involved. So the Roar, an opportunity to level things from this set piece. Yellow and Norrie standing over it. Nino organising her defence. Nori goes herself just over the crossbar. Well, Ish Nori went for glory. The ball was dipping, almost snuck in. But just over the crossbar in the end. That would have been quite some goal. Had it snuck in the frame of goal. Well, Nino's just been happy all game to let the Brisbane Raw press her. In this heat, a maximum of 33 degrees today. And there will be another drinks break in this second half as there was in the first as a result. A lot of keepers will tell you there's not much more satisfying than just being able to cheekily stand there and watch as the strikers running full pelt at you. This free kick again from Nori. Agonizingly close to sneaking into the frame of goal. You know, we'll claim she had it covered as the Jets deliver again into the box, cleared by Nori. And that possession stat now, it's switched. Newcastle 51%. Earlier in the game, it was very much in favor of Brisbane. The ball from Yallop. Not able to find Kaya Stevenson. Curtis Brown. Serena Bolden. Driving forward is Bolden. Up against Norrie. Norrie did really well to hold her off. Bolden not able to get the ball away. Brisbane will win the foul. So they'll regain possession and have a chance to play the ball out themselves. This defensive work and picture in picture from Nori. Really impressive stuff from the Royal Captain. Her 95th A-League women's appearance today, so very highly experienced, the 26-year-old. Well, again, a battle 
between Zoe Kanatidis and also Ash Brodigan. But play goes on. Now, on that occasion, Maraw do win the free kick. Ash Brodigan claiming that it should be a yellow card, that she was away if she wasn't fouled. Davis just bringing her to ground. Had to because if she hadn't, she was clear and you can understand what Brodigan's trying to say. Here's Nori, delivers into the pack of bodies, headed by McCormick, but cleared away from Pryor. And Allen will be able to just scoot it around the corner in the path of Cara Peters. Brodigan's ball cut out by Pryor, but goes straight back to her. And well, Emma Dundas has collected Brodigan all the way through. Referee just trying to keep a lid on things at the moment. Queen. Stevenson. Davis pulled out of the challenge, but Stevenson was eventually fouled by Dundas. Referee just making sure that Captain Cass Davis keeps things under control. As we are seeing a substitution for the Raw. It's Ash Brodigan who makes way for the Brazilian Mario Leca. She made her first start since rupturing her ACL last week and is back on the pitch now as a substitute. Hopefully all part of the management plan for her. Such a fantastic player, the 31-year-old, when fit and in form. The really important cog in the latter half of this season for the Raw. And no returning goal for Ash Brodigan. She's the one who's subbed off. She was involved in a lot of the action. Wasn't able to make a difference for the Raw this afternoon. We'll take another look at this foul for Brisbane. Had a few bites at these set pieces now, Brisbane, from this kind of area. Norrie will deliver. And a header from Corbin. Oh, she won the header, but was too far out and didn't have the power to challenge Nino. Newcastle again, they've got to be careful. That foul count flashed up before 15 fouls to eight for Brisbane. Here's the substitute echo. hit back past Corbin was alert to the possibility but it just had enough pace on it to evade her Eka ball looking for Fryer everyone leaves it and it will trickle to Nino score added so far in the second half 15 minutes down neither side really having a clear look at goal Brisbane have had a few opportunities from set pieces Newcastle always a threat with this pace of Warren Allen
Brisbane on the trail for any mishit back pass. Not able to pick up the scraps that time. Eka, can she work her magic? Not on that occasion. As you'll notice for Brisbane, Tefra Ann Della Harp was not on the team sheet at all. She actually picked up a late injury during the week, so that's why the Highland Capped International is not out there on the pitch. Would have been her 50th appearance as well. She's stuck on 49 for at least another week. Hopefully that's not too serious. Trying to hold on to the ball, does really well to beat Hoban. Beats two. But the run from Corbin, just not on the same wavelength as the pass from Norrie. Lauren Allen delivers a cross and an unmarked Sophie Hoban. Well, that was very close to a second for Newcastle because Sophie Hoban was on the penalty spot and just wasn't able to wrap her foot around it. She was unmarked, but couldn't get it past the keeper. We'll take a look at this again. Lauren Allen with the ball into the box and Sophie Hoban, well, just couldn't swing her boot at it the way she would have liked. Unfortunate for the youngster. Now Brisbane, ball delivered towards the back post, headed away, Ecker is there. She'll play it back to Yallop, Yallop strikes. And it's high and wide from Tamika Yallop. Well, Brisbane, they've got to make something happen here because Newcastle are not letting up at the other end. Kick from Nino. Nori. He's away. Nice touch from Fryer. Pull up the line from Kirkup. He's cut out well by Bauman. Peters, nice touch. Looking to play up the line, but just goes out of play. That passing accuracy start. Brisbane still on top slightly. Has gone down from their heights of when we first looked at that, 89% early in the first half. I wonder if they'll opt for a more direct approach as the game wears on. Here's Fryer. Sean Fryer goes one way, then the other. Still Fryer. She'll cut it back. Oh, shambles in the box. But Brisbane, they have one bite. They have two blocked and saved away. Well, somehow, Brisbane did not have their equaliser. They had several bites at the cherry and just couldn't put it away. Desperate defending by Newcastle. A superb work from Sean Fryer in the first place. She crossed it in. Mia Corbin, Rebecca Kirkup had a strike, and then Kirkup kind of got in Corbin's way. And Nino was able to get back and make the save after her defenders had saved it off the line earlier. Well, this is a big moment 
now for the Newcastle Jets. Because Melinda J. Barbieri is entering the field of play, and that is her 100th appearance in the A League Women. Lizzie Schnorri getting booked for that challenge. The Brisbane captain earlier. Just confirmation of that yellow card for her. And the Newcastle crowd, very appreciative. Melinda J. Barbieri. 100 A League women's appearances. She's only 23 years of age. She's best known for her stint at Melbourne Victory. 66 appearances for them. Four goals as well. Last season went to Adelaide. 18 appearances for them. And now her 16th appearance for the Jets. She is actually the league's sixth youngest goal scorer ever. She scored back in 2015 when she was 15 years and 210 days old. She was also a late sub in the 2021 Grand Final victory. Of course, the famous one, the Kyra Cooney Cross Olympico success. She came on in extra time in that game to play a part in that triumph. Hasn't had the smoothest of times always, Barbieri, but 100 games is some achievement. And she'll be hoping to cap that milestone with a win this afternoon. Ball delivered into the box. Silkowitz does well. Now we will have that second half a drinks break. Players getting a well-earned rest after what has been a hard-fought second half. And Raw having a fantastic opportunity to equalise moments earlier. But the Jets getting opportunities of their own, the best of which came through Sophie Hoban. Let's take a look at these highlights to make a gallop has gotten more involved in Matilda as well. This from Serena Bolden, and just wide, requiring a glove on it from Silkowitz. Ishinori, her free kick just over the crossbar. Another ball from Lauren Allen. And Susan Hoban was right there, just couldn't direct it on goal. And now this was the big one. Sean Fryer doing excellently well, shifted in, and there was just chaos and confusion. But Brisbane could not put the ball away between Mia Corbin and Rebecca Kirkup. So still 1-0 to Newcastle. That first half goal coming through Serena Bolden. So Mickey Yallop and Sean Fryer plotting away to get back in this game. It was Lauren Allen who was subbed off for that moment. Melinda J. Barbieri coming on the pitch. You'd imagine that has to be just a fitness issue because Lauren Allen has been absolutely electric this afternoon. And fresh legs could prove vitally important. In this match, of course, warm conditions here in Maitland. Again, just confirmation in, on your screen of that nearly count to each Nori. It happened just before the substitution of Barbieri. Drinks break is a chance to rehydrate, but also a chance for coaches to give some more instruction. Brisbane Raw will keep trying to play their way, the Alex Smith way. Curtis Brown intercepts though, high up the pitch. Barbieri thought about taking a shot, opted to try and play it wide instead.
free kick for the Roar and a yellow card produced as well. That's Claudia Chico who has been given the yellow card. You'd imagine that's possibly a consequence of excessive fouling, more than that foul in and of itself. Another foul for Brisbane. They're advancing up the pitch through fouls at the moment. This time, Kaya Stevenson copped quite a heavy knock in the process. She's gingerly up, back on her feet. Quick free kick taken. Woods into the box for Fryer. Sean Fryer squares it. Well claimed by Nino. cleared into midfield. Stevenson. It was a nice diagonal, but was cut out before any real danger could come of it. Karapetis into the path of Davis. Now Hoban, big heave ho to the substitute. Lara Gooch has got pace to burn. He can't get past the defender on that occasion. Gooch who came on earlier for Emma Dundas, so youngster for youngster there. An the offside flag eventually was raised against Brisbane. Sean Fryer knew it was coming. Touch. All the way back to Copus Brown. Diagonal ball. Barbieri can't control it. Hoban. Eventually hacked away, but only as far as Copus Brown. Davis can't control it either. And Mia Corbin just robs her of the ball. Not sure that she knew Corbin was there. Mia Corbin now in space. Still going, Corbin. She'll offload it to Kirkup. Becky Kirkup searching. Go back to Yallop. And to Mika Yallop. To Mario Eka. Can she produce something magical? The Brazilian Eka. It's found its way back to Nori. Nori's diagonal, not really of any kind of threat. I'm sure Chico intended to chest the ball in the direction of her keeper, but it's come into the gloves of Nino. And Bolden, when she goes to ground, appeals, half-hearted appeals to the crowd for a foul on that occasion. She didn't appeal for it at all, just a coming together, good strong defending from McCormick. touch now Brisbane driving into space can they fashion something here Woods can't get it past Bauman and now Bauman will go up the other way Bauman ball through to Serena Bolden Serena Bolden one on one with the keeper and she makes it two for Newcastle her 10th goal of the season the Philippines international is on fire That is superb work on the break here. Wonderful ball from Bauman and Serena Bolden. You would bet your house 
on her finishing from there. She tucks it calmly into the bottom corner. And Newcastle, they have the two goal advantage. Well, Brisbane perhaps pushing for that equaliser. It was a transitional moment. Play was going back and forth. But it was that wonderful, incisive ball that found the run of Bolden. And she was able to put it away in front of home fans in Maitland. Brisbane, though, they won't lie down here. They'll be looking to create something. Still plenty of time for them to get a goal back or two. Just caught out in that transitional moment on that occasion. A oh, lovely work from Gooch. She'll play in Bolden again. It's Bolden up against Nori. Bolden still going. Serena Bolden gets her hat trick, makes it three. A wonderful performance from a wonderful player. And Newcastle have all but sealed it now. Well, what more can be said? What a player, what a striker. What a pleasure it is to watch her week in and week out in the Liberty A-League. Just beating Nori for pace. Able to get the ball in behind Zilkowitz. And an incisive finish off the inside of the post. It's really telling that two of her goals have come off the inside of the post. The Hatchuk hero today for the Jets. And in a game of few chances, you just have to put them away. That is her first hat-trick in the A-League women's. And there is no one better to put away those chances at the moment than Serena Bolden. Brisbane, they've gone up the other end, they've gotten themselves a corner. But that must be an incredibly demoralizing one two punch. They were in the game, it was only 1 0. And then Serena Bolton, two through balls and two goals. And that's all it takes sometimes. Brisbane captain will deliver. Not quite able to clear in Newcastle, but Barbieri gets involved and just hoofs it out of play, making sure that any danger is averted. And a substitution here for the Brisbane Raw. Tamar Levin coming on the field of play to replace Rebecca Kirkup and Tish Woods as well, coming off for Holly Palmer. And Davies making her way onto the field of play as well. So a triple sub in response to those two quick goals from coach Alex Smith. Well, he had to make changes, Smith, and he's made quite the statement with those. Holly Palmer making her first appearance since her yellow card in four suspension last week. Well, it's an interesting occasion for Bonnie Davies because she actually started the season signed for the Newcastle Jets, didn't make an appearance for them and then signed for the raw mid-season it's now her ninth appearance for the raw
would take an almighty effort to call her side to a result this afternoon. Just confirming it was Kaya Stevenson who came off the pitch. That third substitution for Bonnie Davies. Ball delivered in from Newcastle. Serena Bolden is there. And battle with Levin. Copas Brown delivers towards the back stick. Bolden again was there, but her head at that time over the crossbar. Well, it is the Bolden show at the moment. That's a lovely ball from Copas Brown, but Bolden rising, beating McQueen and Silkowitz to the ball. Just wasn't able to keep it down. So that is 11 goals in 12 games this season for Serena Bolton. She's always going at a goal a game. That is simply an astonishing record. She'll be looking to mow down Michelle Heyman in that golden boot race. And in this kind of form, you wouldn't bet against her. Newcastle, another opportunity from a set piece. Gooch, cut out by Palmer. Sean Fryer looking to make something happen for the Raw. And isn't able to get past the attention of Lara Gooch, who did give away a foul in the process. Corbin looking to get into the box. Corbin, she'll play it into the back of Carapetus. Hoven ball to ground. No foul according to the referee. So Hoven comes away with it. Bolden trying out all the tricks. Carol Peters. Hoban. Switches play. No cut out by the raw. And unless the raw can pull off the miraculous, this would be their third straight defeat. The first time that that has happened since February 2022. An unwanted record for coach Alex Smith and his side. I have to say they've been unlucky this season. Of course, last game they were leading at half time against Western United and conceded from those two corners and a penalty. They've lost other games by the odd goal. Fans will feel aggrieved by the reverse fixture last time they played the Jets that was also lost by an, by an odd goal. It's the Jets who, seeing his substitution, Josie Wilson is coming on the pitch in place of Sophie Hoban, who's been sensational this afternoon, Hoban. Josie Wilson coming on for her 13th appearance of the season. Of course, this result, if it stays as it is for the Jets, means that they stand a chance of finishing the round in the top six and even being in the conversation. Not too many had them in the conversation at the start of the season. The pre-season predictions had them quite low down the table, but they've surprised many. The work in the rear of Coach Gary Van and now taken over by Ryan Campbell.
Yellip. Levin as the ball taken away by Wilson, who's just come on the pitch and gets fouled as she advances forward. And the yellow card as well. There's a yellow card for the substitute, Levin. As we see this again. And unfortunately, for Josie Wilson, it looks like her shoulder might have just popped out in that shell and she was in a little bit of pain. 24-year-old. Take a look at this landing right there. And that doesn't look great. And she is able to be helped to her feet. Certainly no malice in the challenge. It's just one of those footballing challenges that happens. Just an awkward landing for Wilson. She is okay to continue. Don't often expect to get arm and shoulder injuries as a footballer, maybe unless you're a keeper, but sometimes you can just fall the wrong way. Takes the free kick. Bolden. Does she keep it in? She doesn't. So it'll be a simple it's goal kick. Corbin. Can she bring one back for Brisbane? Corbin into the penalty area, deflected away, and wins her side of corner. They'll look to take this quickly, and they'll be hoping that the board of the fourth officials shows plenty of time. Stranger things have certainly happened. But it will be tough in this heat. Schnorri to take. One arm in the air. Nori delivers into a packed penalty area. It's punched away. Eka though on the ball. Mario Eka just couldn't pull the trigger. The Brazilian, she was looking for an opportunity with the keeper away from her line. But wasn't able to find a way through the bodies in defense. In Brisbane, they'll have another corner. <laughs> Murray will deliver once more. Into the pack of bodies once more. This time a Newcastle head on it. Nice touch from Palmer. Who gets the shot away. But it is wide off the post. Six minutes of stoppage time. So five minutes or so to go in this match. Five minutes. Very, very slim hopes of Brisbane to get back in this one. scoreline not really reflective of the way the game's gone but Newcastle have just been so clinical when they've been presented with chances they've taken them Serena Bolden with a hat trick
Newcastle keeping possession up the line. Just eating away at that clock. into play. Levin finding Palmer. Holly Palmer trying to escape the attentions of Bauman. And Bauman does really well. Yellow. Nori. McCormick, and we're done by McCormick to skip past Bolden and find a teammate. Yallop, Palmer, back out to Yallop if she can reel it in, she can. It's now 11. Holly Palmer, wonderful footwork from Holly Palmer into the penalty area, tries to square it, goes again. But unable to beat Izzy Nino. It's been promising stuff from Palmer since coming on the pitch, the 22-year-old. She's a regular normally in this lineup. Ball through to Fryer. Sean Fryer squares it to Mia Corbin who hits the crossbar. And Mario Lecker not able to control. Well, a golden opportunity to get one goal back for Brisbane. But Corbin not able to convert. And unfortunately for the away side, it just about sums up the game this afternoon. And we'll take a look at a couple of the yellow cards. There's been plenty in this game. Mitch Nori taking down Sophie Hoban. Receiving a yellow card there. And then here, it was Tamara Levin who received that yellow card. Nori was just in the referee's eye line though. Nori would be worried about conceding a second herself. Brisbane in possession. Well, if Corbin had managed to slot that one away, it may have made things a little bit interesting for these last few minutes. It may have just raised the tension slightly, but as it stands, Newcastle look like they are marching their way to victory. Very important three points at this point of the season. That was all going on. Josie Allen, the 17-year-old, came on the pitch, make her first appearance of the season, her sixth in total in the A-League women's. A nice moment for her. Replacing Serena Bolden, the hat-trick hero, allowing her to get her own applause as she left the field of play. Focus Brown. Her ball harmlessly out of play. Old Bolden just lapping up the adulation. Why wouldn't you? After scoring a hat trick. Palmer intercepts. 
Ball forward to Fryer, who's been tireless this afternoon, but not able to get it past the Newcastle defence. Well, that's full time in Maitland. It's the Serena Bolden show, a hat trick to the Philippines International. The difference between the two sides this afternoon. Newcastle, they were just more clinical with their chances. They took them when it counted. The standing ovation from the Maitland crowd for their team. And it's the Jets with an opportunity to enter the finals discussion with only five rounds of Liberty League remaining. At full time in Maitland, it's the Newcastle Jets three, Brisbane Raw nil. Well, let's take a look at the goals this afternoon. The first one, a header from Bolden into a corner, which gave the Jets the lead in the first half. It was certainly a half a few chances, and Bolden took the one that was presented to her. And then this, a beautiful ball through from Bauman, finding the run of Serena Bolden, who was never really going to miss from there, tucked it into the bottom corner. That made it two for Newcastle. And it didn't take long before she would add her and her team's third. Fantastic work from the youngster Gooch to play her in, Bolden beating each Nori for pace and slotting it again into the bottom corner for her hat-trick. She is in phenomenal form, 11 goals in 12 games, well and truly in the golden boot race. Serena Bolden in her form has lifted her side to the three points this afternoon. So here's the numbers of the game this afternoon. The Raw just edging possession and shots, but none of those really clear-cut opportunities of quality. It was the Jets who were clinical, scoring three of their four shots on target. And as a result, it's the home side who walk away with the victory this afternoon. Well, thank you so much for joining our coverage of this match this afternoon. It's been a pleasure having your company, and we'll see you next time.